Bagley. Big man to big man. And one for Carter. Two fouls now with ten and a half to go. First player for either team with more than one. That jump shot from Davis is good. He has been looking confident out here tonight. Grayson Allen still looking for his first point. Bagley attacks the rim. Lefty finish no good. Carter there for the rebound and put back. Double number three of his young career. Looking for Williams. Grayson Allen takes that one away. Duvall sends it ahead to Carter. Wendell Carter. Duke looking to extend its lead. Bagley posts up mounts. Goes to the left hand. And the finish. Duvall can tell he was looking at Delorier. Instead it's Bagley. Lefty jump hook finish. Another timeout for Furman. And the Blue Devils starting to exert themselves now. In that area, 22 to 12 in the paint, 8-0 run for the Blue Devils. Paladins haven't scored in almost three minutes, and you can tack on two more for Trayvon Duvall. ISO for Carter here. Bagley, the two-handed finish. Sorry, Bagley. And the spin move and the dunk. Marvin Bagley, the third, showing the whole arsenal tonight. Seven. Same balance. play. Yeah, balance scoring for Duke. Bagley's. Got it going, was without a field goal for about the first seven or eight minutes. Going to it. Bagley tries to jump shot this time, showing the entire arsenal. Davis into the lane. Tries the shoulder fake on Duvall. Fade away, jump shot is good. Off the heel, Duvall beats three different Furman players for the rebound. Grayson Allen will try a three. That one is good. Rebound. Brown hesitated on the three. Eventually it ends up with Davis. Good and that pass. time Rafferty the finish down low. Looking for a three and one start to their 2017-18 campaign. Floater from Duval is good. Doubles to open a career. The lofted to Delorier and the foul. Possession arrow. Yeah, that's one of those you don't see dividends right away, but the next jump ball now belongs to Duke. That three-pointer is good from Mounts. Looking for Bolden down low over that left shoulder, finishing through contact. Elbow jump shot. And Davis continues to impress. Coach Ritchie wants his team to get into their offense. Here's Mounts into the lane. That one is swatted away by Delorier. No line. Javin following the play comes from behind. A little less than 11 seconds for the men's basketball team. Furman in the zone looks like here. Duvall, fancy dribbles in the righty finish. That post entry pass from Bagley was too short. Trent tracks back for the turnover, and Grayson, the finish on the other end. And that one is rebounded by Trent. 20-point lead for the Blue Devils. Duvall, the fallaway jumper. He adds that to his game. Sibley trying to get untracked. Staring down Carter. And hits a three. Looks for Rafferty. Quick hit ahead, Grayson to Gary Trent. In over the number two team in the country, but free throw shooting has been a bit of an issue for the Blue Devils. Grayson Allen shooting them at 92%. Really working, it takes no effort. Just go in the gym, you can go by yourself. Just keep repetition. Nice look from Carter and Delorier the finish. Largest lead of the night for Duke at 22, 59-37. There's Davis, another finish in the lane. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Bagley guarded by Mounts, gets to that left hand in the paint and finishes his own miss. It's a dangerous time. It's a nice look there in the finish by Mounts inside. Time is, you know, Duke's up 20 points right now, but Furman, a three-point shooting team, can easily get back into the game. Duvall with the bucket things down for a moment. Duvall lays it off. Two hands 
from Marvin Bagley the third. That quarterback's turned out to be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Cleveland Browns maybe wish they had Wentz. They love him in Philly. How about the dump off from Grayson Allen to Marvin Bagley? Lead is 26, make it 24 as Fowler finds a basket for the first time tonight. Go to Sibley. Two different Blue Devils collapse on him and force the turnover. Grayson Allen breaks forward. O'Connell onto the floor. O'Connell with the bucket. Sibley the other way. Nothing but net for Jordan Lyons. O'Connell finds Grayson Allen in the corner. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Great O'Connell spots up for three. Wing three. Goldwire finds him. Five quick points for O'Connell. And then the three by Fowler as he starts to find the range. Nine straight games with a made three. This is a Duke team that's not going to rely on the three-pointer as much as they have in the past because they have guys like Wendell Carter. Inside the three-point line. Old school game. That's right. The finish inside from Rafferty. For the rebound. Can't get the finish. There's O'Connell. Finding Bolden down low. Marquise Bolden. It's another play made by O'Connell. He's had an energetic five minutes on the floor. Rafferty steps into a three. Goldwire the three. O'Connell the rebound and the finish. He is earning himself some more playing time. Paladins have not gotten a lot from Sibley tonight. Got to figure that won't last long. Fowler, another three. A lot of teams in the Southern Conference. Duval whips that one to Bagley. A lot of contact from Williams. The jump shot falls. It's to go. Five seconds on the shot clock. There's a three from Sibley. Not going to throw up a shot that'll get blocked or inadvertent. Gets in there and makes the right play. Duvall with the righty finish early in his career. Perhaps not expected to play a ton, but earned some minutes. And that guy's going to play minutes regardless of which team he's on. All 18 on the night. And the three from Hunter. O'Connell to Rankovic. Back for three. Four for five from the field. A couple of threes for O'Connell. Spins over that left shoulder. Righty finish for the freshman. Good win tonight by Duke. You figure they'll take this momentum as they travel tomorrow.